Part of the latest craze here in Anchorage, everybody's doing it. Trash walking, man. Yeah, you know the saying. You, uh, you don't talk the talk if you can't walk the walk. Yeah, right? Meaning you better be able to back up what you say. And I met a group last week that trash talks while they walk every day in their own neighborhood. The payoff is clean streets and coffee meetups. Check it out. They're picking up before most of us are waking up. So we usually try to get three, maybe four miles in yeah, in the morning. It's good. The early morning quiet of this neighborhood is punctuated <laughs> with the sounds of... Yeah. Twisted tea and Corona probably my favorites. <laughs> you lost something. Well, somebody's... Uh... Dinner, I guess, from last night. No, not that. But that is a part of what's going on. Just feeling feeling good about doing something good for the community. You see, these three, they're doing their part. This is all kinds of weird stuff. Monday through Friday, all year round. To keep their downtown Anchorage neighborhood litter-free. Why? It's a good way to keep the place looking good. And, and like I say, the exercise is great. Because I like my town. <laughs> because there's a lot of trash. You know, it, I mean, it's kind of disheartening to see so much of it every day. Today, Joe, Rod, and his wife, Pat, met, as they always do, at 6.30-ish in the morning here at 11th and N Street and... Off to 15th and Cordova. <laughs> and just like that, they're off scattering like a superhero team on a scavenger hunt, armed with only their grabbers. They disperse and descend on rogue rubbish like eagles on the hunt. We get stopped a lot. And uh, people will say, thank you for doing this, so, yeah. This has been going on for... We've been doing it Monday through Friday for over 50 years. Half a century. That's founder of the group, Judy Sedwick. I would say the camaraderie with the neighborhood is really the one of the great joys. And do they have a name? Trash Patrol, whatever. Trash <laughs> Patrol or trash fairies. It's magical how they seem to fly across town, filling their bags with discarded debris. Finding things like... Well, passports, uh, driver's licenses, credit cards. And get this, they even... But no, one time we found a parrot. What? A parrot. Yeah, somebody lost a parrot. And no, its owner wasn't a pirate. But the booty they find out here goes right in here. So whether it's sweeping glass off the road... or waving to a neighbor... Welcome back! Or the adoring sounds of a canine admirer... <laughs> The trash is the reason they hit the roads, but the payoff is the perky ending. But it all ends here at Sagaya's with meeting with our friends and, and having coffee. And... Mm. Hit the spot. <laughs> A landfill of laughs is worth the morning miles. I'm Dave Allgood and Trash Talk. I have some wonderful friends because of it. Yeah. Starts my day out right. Is the all good news. That was fun following them, uh, following them around. Uh, the group varies in size from three to ten or more, and they all have a couple things in common. Most, if not all, of them are retired, and they all used to be former runners whose knees aren't working as good, and they just want to stay in shape. And yes, along with parrots and passports, they found cash, even a $100 bill or two. And Rod tells me they put any money they find in a college fund for the old grandkids there. So there you go. All right.